welcome you all for uh, today's uh, master class in glaucoma optic disc changes in glaucoma by moidin sir from tirunelveli over to you sir for your talk Yes, sir. Slides are visible, sir. You are audible. Voice is not clear, sir. Now? Ah, yes, sir. So, um, so look at the prevalence of glaucoma. I mean, let's take that uh, comprehensive uh, ACS study. 2.6% of the age over the 40 years. And look at the NIHA study of Pan Australia. Look at the prevalence of glaucoma in the Euro population and so far in the Southern population. The family is glaucoma, but on 10 times more risk of having glaucoma than if not dying. So 20% of the risk of dying is glaucoma in this country. The prevalence in this age, if you take the age more than 20 years, the risk is very high. The 2.6 can be more than 5 percent. And the estimated by uh, 20, uh, 2020 is around 7. Uh, sir, you are not still not audible, sir. Mike is off.
Want te lokken dan? Wel. Hij loopt hier ooit. Wel. Gaan we weg? Better, sir. But still less volume only better. Are you okay now? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, the glaucoma is the progression of neuropathy associated with axial damage to the optic nerve head, loss of axon and loss of a layer, associated with loss of function. I told the second leading cause of blindness, it was with blindness, but maybe in Asia, it may be a first. Because of an irreversible blindness, because of a lot, lot of cases of anxiety glaucoma. I told you the family see the risk become uh, ten times more, and the prevalence increases with age. People more than 70 years, the risk become very high. In 2020, the estimated 79.6 million people are affected, and out of them, 11.2 million are blind in both eyes. In 2040, it become 120 million. So the huge uh, number of cases of glaucoma are going to come in the future. The cupping the hallmark of uh, any glaucoma. And uh, other insects are up in, uh, up in our head, like, like uh, can have ganglion cell damage, but mostly the palate. When glaucoma have a cupping, is rarely in A when you have a cupping. The cupping is mostly a glaucoma. So, what is the cupping? We need a progress in cupping. As we progress, the, the, the disease is non progressive, we cannot say glaucoma. Somebody can have a lens in glaucoma, can have a, some palate. Once you remove the lens, on specific and normal, then it will be paler, but no progression, no glaucoma. If that is being progressive, you say glaucoma. So you need to have, there has to be a progressive. If you don't say a progressive, that means, uh, if you don't say a progressive neuropathy, then you won't find glaucoma. So the, what you see, the, uh, the visible optic nerve is called the optic nerve head, and it's either called the optic disc or a papillae. The average is around around 1.7 millimeter in diameter. There's a wide range of optical size, up to seven fold difference in the area between individuals. The optical head size can be different. So there can be a seven fold difference in, in the area between the individuals. Okay. okay, so normal optics can be vertically oval around 1.2 to 2.2 millimeter in diameter. It's mostly asymmetrical and there's a pink rim of neurolateral rim, like in the central cup. And now the ratio is around 0.1 to 0.4. A 5% of cup is more than 0.6. So anything more than 0.6 is eating as a glaucoma suspect. So there are 1.2 million axons that makes, uh, that makes up the optic nerve. They divide by septae into the about 1,000 vesicles. 
The cell body is the ganglion cell layer of the retina. The synapse is the left sided body. So, axoplasmic transport carries a nutrient from the ganglion cell body to the lateral body. You say orthograde flow. Any waste uh, back to the ganglion cell, you say retrograde flow. There are three ganglion cell types one is parvocellular, magnocellular, and you have what is parvocellular is 80%, it's a small diameter, they have small receptive fields mostly in the macula, rapid connective velocity, and is very useful for color and fine details. Even what we are seeing now, webinar, we will be using a parocellular uh, ganglion cells. A magnocellular M cell is 10%, the larger diameter. The sensitivity change in luminous and the dim environment. We detect motions. Because of larger uh, receptive fields, we cannot be used for the fine details for the slow conduction velocity. Coniocellular, the K cells, around 10% of axons, the bistratified cells. The process information regarding blue and yellow color occurrence is the basic for short wave, short wave automated perimetry. So, so look at the uh, optic now uh, anatomy and the, and the blood supply. There are four regions anterior to posterior. What you see the surface nebula is around 90% of axon, 5% of associates. Blood supply from central retinal artery or mostly from ophthalmic artery and also from central retinal arteries. Pre laminar, what you see is the pre laminar one, that accounts around 90% of the axon and 5% associate lines of chloride. The blood supply mostly from short posterior ciliary artery. The laminar of the one next one, it continues the sclera, composed of sheets of connective tissue and elastic tissue. They support the nerve tissue as they exit to the sclera. The laminar fenestrations are larger repeatedly and inferior, inferiorly. There's a speculation these larger pores provide a less support and explain the prosperity of superior and inferior nerve damage, the glaucoma yearly compared to nasal and temporal. That supply from the sharp process is already around 10 to 12, they form the circle of zinnan halo. The retro laminar regions they begin to take a myelination, therefore, the double diameter to about 3 millimeter. The surround by meninges, paya, arachna, and dura, the blood supply from the central retinal artery, and also transfer of paya. So, all this stopping now, the venous drainage from the central retinal vein. Uh, how axons are organized with optic now? Like uh, axons from the peripheral retina travels deeper. Peripheral retina travels deeper into the nerve layer and exit to the most peripheral optic now. The axons from around the optic now, around the optic now, travels more superficial and they exit more centrally to the optic now. The macula supplies large, large number of uh, accents they construct the paper micro bundle. This is some of the reasons why in a glaucoma the central fields are affected very last. People have 6 6 vision, they can have central field vision with the 6 6 vision. This is one of the reasons. The fibers serving the temporal periphery are arched around the paper micro bundle, are causing ar arching fibers like superior and inferior. These fibers do not cross the central horizontal refer. So, optic nerve examination is critical because the change in the optic nerve damage precedes the visual field damage. A significant amount of nerve flare and optic nerve damage can occur before the visual field damage. And we take is the critical in the care for the glaucoma, all glaucoma patients. So, I ask you to give us a few examples. Ask yourself this is the same patient, the right and left eye, the disc. This can be a glaucoma or not. Think this, this is another patient. This is a glaucoma or not? This is another patient. Again, this is a glaucoma or not? So you'll be sitting in the OPD daily, you'll be seeing 100 of cases or like this kind of cases. But if you have, if you have able to pick up 
the which is the patients to refer to the glaucoma clinic and you can you can very well help the help the glaucoma team and and help the society this is a glaucoma this is a glaucoma so one see lot of variations are there so i think this is glaucoma i think at the end of the my talk you able to examine the optional examination basically now all of us use nitrate examination let's do elimination groups to find out enough of a defect at this photo drawing is very but during our pg times if you don't draw at this photo you cannot send the cases to glaucoma clinic you are supposed to draw with the emr i think everything is gone now we are supposed to really draw and draw the disc and send the this kind of gonio and send back to the glaucoma clinic a color photography the two dimensional view Actually, copy is a photograph in ideal photograph. You just know the depth of the cup. How do you take a serious view photograph? You need you need to take a asymmetrical photo of the same disc, and you have the serious viewer to merge and look at the depth of the cup. So when you ask the patient looks, ask the patient to look the other eye to the ear, you directly hit the disc. So no need to have a big dilated. There is no cataract, no PCO. Uh, the, the nicely you can see a disc within a few 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 seconds and uh, you cannot say the small people like cannot see a disc uh, the small people you can very well see a disc and in the nitrate examination really hit the disc and next to that you can hit the macula so you really know what it is uh, patient is so in the initial we thought of the magnification of the lens what you use nitrate so magnification is equal to the power of the eye divided by power of the lens suppose you use a 20 raptor lens it is especially in indirect You have only three. You have only a three magnification. Uh, suppose you use nine adapter lens, you get zero point six. But if you put ten x for the central magnification, then you get six point six. If you want to look really at the macula, the say some people use a sound EAD, looking only at the like CSME or macular edema or CME, because the magnification is seven point six times. So so normally we use a nine adapter lens, the magnification six point six, and direct ophthalmoscopy that doesn't have any. Uh, It doesn't benefit us because it doesn't have a status to be view of this uh, disc. But uh, we don't have anything. That also is also okay. So how to draw a disc? Well, basically, this is your draw. This is a disc margin, and this is the top margin between the cup and the disc. What is called needle lateral rim. And whatever you see here, this is the lateral half of the layer. So we this is a disc. This is the cup, and this is the needle lateral rim. This is the half of the layer. These are vessels. So this is the way you normally we draw. We normally we draw the cup with a yellow color. And we just draw the disc margin the black color, and now for layer we draw with a green color. So this is a normal disc. This is a glaucoma disc. So there are few characteristics like what the people is called intraoperatory characteristics. They tell you disc size, disc shape, rim size, cup size, and rim shape. And paraoperatory you have retinal half of a layer and hemorrhage versus diameter, and paraoperatory atrophy. Let's go. There are seven steps in, in glaucoma disease evaluation. The step one is ask yourself: the disc size is small, or the medium, or the one point four two millimeter, or the large disc, the more than two millimeter. So when you get a small disc, after it is drusen, A O N, or type one disc, pseudo papular edema. The large disc, you get high myopia, the congenital optic bit, or the morning glory syndrome. So how do you measure the uh, disc diameter? If you have a hack stick, it'll give exactly. You saw a 90 adapter, 90 adapter lens. You put an image into the hack stick. You really measure how much the disc diameter in in, a, in a correctly. Uh, for plus or minus diameter, this will be, this will be very well. This is called Elsing ring. 
Okay, listening ring is nothing but an inner part of the disk. And this, is, this ring is measured for, suppose you want to really want to measure the disk size, the inner part of the listening ring is taken as an area to, to measure. Okay, not the outer, the inner one, you take it and go like this. This is daily measure, the disk size. Whatever you see, this is in parallel electrophy. Okay, do you ask the disk cell and then look at the disk shape, the, sh the shape of the shape of the disk. See, this is a circular disk, this is a vertical disk. Why it is important? Um, because a normally, a normally uh, the disk is vertically oval and cup is horizontally oval. In glaucoma, it is reversed. In glaucoma, the cup will become horizontally oval. Uh, uh, in, uh, actually, in, uh, in a normal, it is vertically oval, and in uh, the is the tilted disc, the second is high myopia, and the disc shape influences the issue. Again, I am saying you, the disc is normally vertically oval, and cup is horizontal oval, where it can be reversed in case of glaucoma. Then ask yourself the cup size or rim size appropriate to this size. See, I'm just saying, this is a case of, I'm just saying, this is a glaucoma. This is a non-glaucoma. This is because I'll say later why it is. So look at the compensation around 0.4. This is around 0.7. But this doesn't mean it is glaucoma or non-glaucoma. There are few steps to uh, look carefully as you, as you take a more, as you, the classes proceed, you understand it. So small disc has small rim. The large is the large rim, and small is must not have a cup, no cup. The large is the large cup. This is, this is a basic mix for the, uh, the rim size and cup size. And sometimes the more color, and the color does not correspond to the rim border. Sometimes the first thing is the second thing is the border of the rim. See here. This is a this is a cup This is the This is the cup bottom. This is the cup bottom. And this is the cup bottom. This is the cup bottom. Okay. See here, this is a laminar and the second one has exactly the rim bottom. So this way, you really exactly know where exactly the cup ratio has, where the rim ends. So this way, your stereoscopy, fundoscopy examination will be very helpful. This is called bearing of cleanliness. That means like this before the glaucoma is is progressive progress to happen versus started hanging. This is called bearing of cellular vessels. After you have an angel distribution of the vessels, they never proof of glaucoma, but they add to your clinical diagnosis. Step four ask yourself where the smallest rib is. You want to use okay, it's, it's in rule. No, it's, 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 it's the one. This is normally the rim, rim width is wider than inferiorly and superiorly, then nasally, then temporal. This is in rule. Normally we, normally we follow. But in glaucoma doesn't obey. See, see in the normal test, see the rim here, see the rim here. The rim is lost here, superiorly. See the rim lost. Infinitely, then lost temporarily, only well, nasally something is happening. This way, the rules, we don't, they don't, the glaucoma, they don't follow the rule. For most of them, they can have glaucoma does after it does. Step five, ask you, sir, did I look at the elimination? Why the audio is not clear? Close the mic. Is there any localized nephropathy defect? Are there any overall decrease in nephropathy visibility? Where you get overall? Okay, yeah. Where you get overall decrease in nephropathy visibility? Mostly in a cataract, especially PCC, RFPCO. So look at the elimination also. If you look, if you draw a line exactly at the center of the disc, a fovea fall below. 
that means there are more nerveable layer in the inferior leg compared to superior leg the reason the more the cupping the notching hole happens in the inferior leg more commonly than superior leg the visibility is more in if you be, be in order the visibility is more in the inferior temporal than superior temporal than superior nasal the nasal inferior so the normal defect what you see in a wedge shape defect sometimes you get also get a spindle shape defect called pseudo defect and the overall reduced visibility mostly you see in cataract and the pco so there are few, few patterns of the nerve loss what the diffuse pattern the diffuse pattern is something the loss of stay see compare compare the superior and the inferior one see the see the superior part the inferior part is some is somebody going to varnish to the wood is somebody going to varnish no the carpenter can say the wood is varnished or not so even the people can say it is not defect or not so striking it is so loss of striations the less texture and because of the the, law, the more prominent appearing mid sized vessels so you can see very, very clearly you see the nerve defect this is a color picture this is a red, red free picture so what you see this is the internal pointer to fix it the patient uh, to patient to fix the internal pointer so we also see the wedge shape defect is so striking because the surrounding nerve fibula is normal see here this is normal this is a wedge shape from here it is starting from here from here it is starting here the most striking so we have more arcuate cross a wedge shape the thinning in periphery the thinning in the periphery region and fanning out in the periphery is more important they attach to the disc margin see what you see in a slit like defect this defect they don't attach to the disc margin they are just the present 10% normalized they don't represent pathological nerve fiber loss the relatively common a small size they do not extend to the the, the disc rim they don't don't connect to this same so when you say a normal lateral nerve fiber liver the moralers rules are glaucoma the local defect can be a, there can be a cause of lateral scar drusens but if you say a normal lateral nerve fiber moralers rules are glaucoma so step 6 ask yourself did they look at the optic disc hemorrhage see the you won't see a so striking hemorrhage in every time you see this you won't get a so striking hemorrhage this is optic hemorrhage along with a nerve fiber defect the typical glaucoma so in glaucoma diagnosis always look for hemorrhage the very likely to be so even ocular hemorrhage treatment study the 80% 84% of people the diagnosis is hemorrhage on a disc photo clinically it is missed so the person of hemorrhage always looks a glaucoma the patient some glaucoma unless prone other ways so in a glaucoma hemorrhage is called a trans hemorrhage they are recently i think seven trans is recently expert now and he is at more than 95 years and the hemorrhage is adjacent to the existing notch at this margin they indicate active or progress of a disease there and occurs when there is some rim is left in a in a glaucoma the optic atrophy you don't see a disc hemorrhage So when there whenever there some rims are left there always the chance of okay, hemorrhage hemorrhage can recur and if it recurs the signs of an active a disease and this is called visibility of lamina cribris of pores there are some of the indications the patient may have glaucoma and there are also the other things can be steepness in the shape of the cup like beam pod cup depth of the cup acute pits is other few signs to say a patient having glaucoma asymmetric cupping asymmetry a more than 0.2 are seen in less than 1% normal population so anybody have asymmetry more than 0.2 you are thinking of glaucoma so look at this asymmetry because we say asymmetric cupping let us say the asymmetric disc is there or not a lot of variable to the disc size if you say the disc size is normal the asymmetric cupping definitely is more size than glaucoma see look at this thing nerve fiber defect this camera is a nerve fiber defect there's a notch here definitely there's a additional signs but if the rims and the nerve fibers are normal a more or less rules out glaucoma and what is the peripheral atrophy you have zone alpha and zone beta and zone beta the one which is the most innermost part nothing but atrophy of rp in the chorea capillaries only sclera and large capillaries are visible 
and zone alpha nothing but irregular pigmentation of rpe what happened in glaucoma zone beta increases the frequency and size increases in glaucoma if you have this photography patient follow the patient there if you have per peripheral atrophy and it is increasing in size the most probably they have glaucoma there is a glaucoma less signs of importance but at at your clinical diagnosis the other difference in diagnosis of glaucoma and not in a coloboma morning glory syndrome optic pet aon cellular lesions methyl alcohol poisoning tobacco alcohol amblyopia myopic disc tilted disc see in internal we really have a lot of cases of tobacco alcohol amblyopia a lot of people here do bead work so what the difference between this and glaucoma you don't have coughing the more of a pallor and mostly this you have the percentage will be symmetrical percentage the glaucoma is a asymmetric disease you won't see a symmetrical presentation and glaucoma the percentage has to be little higher compared to a normal uh, uh, other other cause of uh, uh, disc pallor so who coins the cubitus asia by armelin armelin is coin if you suppose you how do you say 0.1 0.2 0.3 suppose you cut the disc in a 10 equal part and what are the cup cup fall in that then you say 0.1 0.2 or 0.3 this is the arbitrary image and then you take it in a 0.6 0.7 and 0.8 0.9 but what happens suppose you say uh, this is both this is 0.3 cup but doesn't have but a, the difference is that because it does not describe directly the actual changes occurring in the glaucoma namely the loss of neural lateral rim tissue like here another the last year but you say a 0.3 cup so you can't say normal and compass asia system does not possess a high inter observer reliability and compass asia does not correlate for the effect of the optic nerve size so you have to say what is the optic nerve size and if not part that you say what the compass asia so just saying a compass is a 0.3 a 0.5 a 0.7 doesn't hold good to diagnose glaucoma so serial photography if you look at the serial for the important of the photography the patients The 2006 or 2008, there's some enough of defect is here. 2006 and here the defect is there. And superiorly enough of defect seems to be okay. And these people felt this is a bearing of circular vessels. And we felt either he didn't have any uh, progression for the right eye at present for two years time. But see this patient. This is, this is the left eye, the patient. This is enough of a defect here. This is enough of a defect here. But look at the superior. This is bearing of circular vessels. See the cup is receded back. The cup is receded back, and what, what directly you can see the bearing of circular vessels. There, there is a, definitely a progress in glaucoma. So you, to, you need to step up this treatment, or you have to uh, look at the field and look carefully, and uh, you can add on some of the medications to control the glaucoma. So I asked you uh, this. I asked you this is the glaucoma or not? They don't have any of the my PGs are here. They come to other other section. So it is. Uh, I don't know what you think it is glaucoma or not. So many of you think it is glaucoma. It may not be glaucoma because look at this. Uh, the disc is horizontally oval. I told in a glaucoma, and the cup also horizontally oval. This is asymmetry disc and cup. Right disc is smaller and left disc is bigger. And this is a peripheral atrophy. So now probably look at the nerve fibula. So more or less this can be a. Just a glaucoma suspect. We are doing glaucoma. Just follow this patient. Again, ask is it glaucoma or not? Again, you'll be thinking what it is, but it I mean. See again, look at this size. So so big dice. So big disc, a big cup, a small disc, small cup. Again, the asymmetrical disc size and cup. The peripheral atrophy. Again, you can see this patient non-glaucoma. Keep him in a glaucoma suspect and watch this patient for some more time. This is glaucoma. Again, look at the disc shape. I told you, look at the disc shape. This is horizontally oval disc shape. This is vertically this oval disc shape. Because the disc shape is different, the cup is different. See the cup. Because the disc shape is horizontally oval, cup is horizontally oval. The disc shape is vertically oval, the cup is vertically oval. So again, it's all 
some of the variations they look at the nerve fiber the more or less seems to be normal so more or less again they say non glaucoma and follow these patients this is glaucoma yeah i think so this is glaucoma look at this you see here the left the nerve fiber defect is here and then see you can see humor is here one the one more humor is here the two humor is any hemorrhage in the disc along the disc margin the one of the glaucoma so and also look at the look at the nerve fiber at near natal rim last year see this has been coupled like this now they sit it back this is a near natal class of it is it definitely based on glaucoma the right is this is active so you need a step of history the same fashion same patient they take take a 50 degree uh, 30 degree the nerve of nerve defect here the nerve of defect here there's a nerve of defect here so uh, this is typical of uh, glaucoma this is glaucoma what characters you see in this disc is more of a pallor than cupping you see there's more pallor uh, mostly the left eye can be right eye this is a patient boy with a steroid into the glaucoma with cataract he had a pressure of 40 so we done a bilateral uh, facto triple for him with a gap of one week and the photo is taken immediately after the surgery and you look at it very carefully because in this cases you cannot go by you can't go by cupris is a pallor but look at the vessels here the vessels are getting kinged here i told you this is this kinging at the lamina cribosa the kinging second kinging at here This is around 0.9 cup. It looks like a 0.7, but look at the vessel kinging here. This is around a 0.9 cup patient. A 0.9 cup, the case of advanced glaucoma. And this, this is some of the conditions where you get more pallor than cupping. You get more pallor than cupping in acute congestive glaucoma. Long standing high intraocular pressures, lens in this glaucoma, any traumatic glaucoma, any high pressure glaucoma, unilateral. So this is kind of some of the conditions where you get a more pallor than cupping. Some of the cases of chronic angles of glaucoma high pressure not coming for longer time this is kind of some of the conditions where you get more pallor than cupping the same patient the total loss of nerve fiber layer something he has the loss of nerve fiber layer here so whenever you compare you can compare even superior inferior here in the patient is a lot of losses even superior inferiorly so initial stage is always in compare superior and inferior and find out where the defect is This is glaucoma. I told you, you know, this case of more of a temporal pallor. The more pallor, the more pallor than cupping. Symmetrical cupping, symmetrical disc finding. Then we can whenever we get a symmetrical finding, so more or less, more or less roots of glaucoma. Must be some other cause of glaucoma, some other cause of disc pallor. So most probably tuberculosis can be a PR, or can be a any cellular lesions. So all can be need of treatment. The evaluation has to be done. This is glaucoma. So I told you in the beginning, in a small disc, no cup. But this man, this is a small disc having a cup. So when there is a cup, and if you look very carefully, look at the nerve fiber here, look at the nerve fiber defect, nerve fiber here, look at here, look at here. Inferiorly, all seem to be healthy, but look at the superior here and superior. There's some nerve fiber defect is here. The vessels are seen nicely here. The vessels are here, little blurred. That means the nerve fiber loss is here. See, this is again this uh, picture taken off. Look at the nerve fiber. Nerve fiber. Look at superior. Look at superior here. Yeah. This is a defect. So from here to here, from here to normal. Actually, this patient we missed. This patient. Actually, we taken a picture. So we called this patient again. Then we re evaluated and we restarted him on a on a medication. So so look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. So. So here also some defects. Suppose he suppose you can see here, but look at the nerve fiber healthy here. This is glaucoma. Definitely, I don't have any doubts. That is, and it is normal. This is typical of bearing of such vessels. So this vessel is getting here. See the cup is. See, initially she had a cup like this, and because of the glaucoma is progress, the cup is receded back. Okay. And this is the same cupping initially similar the same cupping when the glaucoma progresses the cup progress the cup is receded back this is a girl with a family history glaucoma at the age of 25 years old 
when 20% risk in this trial, we have found out that 20% of the people, uh, the families are having glaucoma. And look at the now, look at the different field effect. See, the field effect exactly is there in the, the center, central paracentral scotoma. So this way, you need to uh, catch these people very early so that they can uh, uh, diagnose uh, glaucoma LT very early. This is glaucoma. I think that this is definitely glaucoma. You don't have any doubt to say the glaucoma. This is, a, this is the case of a myosilin glaucoma. The, the, the process is 50, high zero in both eyes. And the total loss, the fine and cup. Okay, and uh, definitely you don't, you're not, this is a this is typical of glaucoma, what, what you told us before. And when I joined uh, the PG, we had to say pressure is more than 21 to, to define glaucoma. So now the definition is, it is something changed. The, the IOP became a risk factor. So this is a typical of glaucoma, what you normally see in the myosin glaucoma. See the typical of people with the myosin glaucoma, the field is so much affected. You see only a tubular field with the macular split. You see that the center here, the macular split is there. And this very much affects the most the left eye. So these are, so what is myosin glaucoma? So myosin gene, myos, it encodes the secretive protein of myosin. So you see 10% of uh, general opening glaucoma and 2 to 4% of an other concept, primary opening glaucoma. This highly expressed in the trabecular muscle to play an important role in the regulation of endocrine pressure. When there's a myosin abnormality, it causes distance in the trabecular muscle, mostly an outflow, and lead to an increase in the endocrine pressure. Okay, so we... Uh, recently, uh, finding out this found a myosin gene one of the family. The risk in the glaucoma, the pressures are very high, and the, the, the risk in the glaucoma is more than 40 percent. See, this is this is this, this is one of the brother of the same uh, family. Uh, pressure is 50, very high intraocular pressure, uh, open angle, uh, severe autoimmune damage, the earlier age of onset. If not treated, results in a severe visual impairment and trabeculectomy will be beneficial. And I say the drug of choice, uh, the surgery will be drug of choice for this kind of patients. So whenever you see in a young patient in OPD, high pressure of 40 with an, with an, with an fine end cup, you can definitely see a myosin glaucoma and you can refer to glaucoma. People very, very happy to diagnose a treat. On these kind of people, you cannot give medication. And these kind of people need to have an surgical treatment option. Is the reverse solar copying is possible? Yes, possible, especially in the children. Especially in the in children, if, the, if you've done a good surgery, if the IOP is uh, um, well controlled, a cup can, cup can be, uh, a reversal can be seen. In this case, you can point and come in a zonal glaucoma or in, in a congenital glaucoma, the cups you can, you can really, a reversal can be possible. So the checklist, again, I'm saying you, determine the disc size number one, check for the unusual disc shape, determine the cup rim size in relation to the disc size, evaluate the rim shape, look at the weather smallest rim width, check for nerfable layer, red free elimination, and look for disc hemorrhage. Unless you look, you won't see. Look for paraphobic atrophy. In high myopia, always rules of glaucoma. In high myopia, always the, the disc is a little dizzy and it always the rules of the glaucoma. And uh, check the CCT, check, his, you know, check, check the family history, do all that thing. And uh, really, if you have any doubt, take the picture, front of the picture, do a field. Really, because they progress very fast. Like myosinic glaucoma, high myopia, they progress very fast. So these are people lately. They have, they have thinner CCT and they progress very fast and they have to catch them. So what about optical photography? You know, it is uh, despite, despite a newer imaging like OCT, uh, there's a role in photography, the non verbal technology. When I started my OCT, I had a status OCT in 2006. Now it has become a spectral, so many things are changing. So the whatever the nomogram I patient had some 10 years back, now it cannot be used. But in photography, you can use a non-variable technology, you can use uh, throughout the life. I told you, in Hakla hypertensive treatment study, 80% of the hemorrhage is seen in the photos. 
So whenever doubt, always take photos and non expensive and uh, take a print out and uh, always you can check them in the linear fashion, the patient and progression and all. So I conclude, uh, I think uh, you know, all of you know this uh, uh, Rana Prasad sir, the chief and advisor of our hospital. He always says me, he's a mentor and he's my teacher. Uh, I think uh, his full team of Lakama team always says, uh, careful, careful assessment of the discs is probably still the best way to diagnose Lakama daily. I think uh, now with the EMR, I am very much doubt uh, how you people are going to diagnose and uh, no drawing. And uh, even I am seeing people are missing, missing gonioscopy and only you have pressure and you have only and cup this issue and it's a diagnose. So, so I think I think it's an uh, ONS uh, examination is an art. I think it comes by time. And uh, this is my disc. I think uh, this uh, seems to be okay. There might be um, 0.2 and 0.3 and, and nephrocalis seems to be okay. Yes, I think. And thank you. If any questions, I think you can, you can take it. Okay, sir, you want to say some, some comments? Okay, sir. Anamalai. Anybody want to ask any questions is welcome. No questions, sir. Thank you. All of you, all of you able to uh, diagnose all the discs. I think we'll go back to that uh, cases. If we have doubt, I think we'll we will. Everybody, ask any question about the disc. Anybody is not agreeing that I'm saying this is not. <laughs> Doubt in this, I'm just saying no glaucoma. Anybody want to defend me saying there's glaucoma? I think if you participate, it will be good. Some other centers, Kaimbatur, Pondicherry. My team from other center, other other conference hall. Anybody want to ask question? Because this will be seen daily because you'll be referring to glaucoma on this kind of a disc only. But so much of anything anybody want to ask here, this is. There's so much of variability to this side. Before you say cup. Sir, second, second picture, sir. Which one? Second one, sir. Small disc with the uh, cupping, sir. Uh, the, the one you showed now, sir. This one? No, sir. Next, next. Ah, this one, sir. Right side picture. Yeah, but uh, normally we say the glaucoma is always take both eyes together. We cannot say 
uh, only this side. Because of that, is, uh, I wanted to be small in the sort of cup, but uh, this is a bigger disc and a bigger cup. Look at the, the disc, the fully here, look at the fully here. Yes, yeah, seems to be healthy. So this can keep people, like take this photo and this, keep them a suspect and just keep watching them. So a lot of very in the, the disc size is that there are sound fold differences in between patient to patient. Anybody else want to ask questions for this? For this, anybody want to ask? All of you convinced that the one more image is here? This is one image, second image here. Sir, the bearing of vessels is there, no, sir? Uh, uh, the bearing can be here because there's something here. See, see the couple is resident back here. But all that is lesser, lesser important. Main important is look at, look at the uh, needle that will rim, and look for any hemorrhage. The rim is okay, the nephropolis are okay, more or less. Also. Some of the cases, in, especially in the periodic cases, they'll send all the cases, big cup, big disc, send a clock on that. Normally we say nephropolis normal, nephropolis is normal, periodic review every year. Also, take the family history clock on. Family history clock on again, we can, the disc becomes a little different. This, anybody have doubt? Anybody want to ask? This, I think all of you agree. More pallor temporarily. And some of the clues, some, some of the people, the depression amblyopia, you know, tobacco alcohol amblyopia. And their vision will be sometimes 6 9, they don't improve to 6 6. And look at uh, very carefully, look at the sit lamp, they can have a uh, P is functional erosions because the nutritional deficiency mostly in the inferior uh, part of the cornea. Uh, Something of P is because of watering. And uh, if you supplement with vitamins, they become mostly all right. This, anybody want to ask questions? This. Anybody have any doubt for this? Actually, we want a smaller disc. So we are searching for a smaller disc. So we the photographer took this disc and sent to us. Then we later found out in Lakama, so we called the patient again. And we miss. Sometimes in a busy crowd, sometimes we tend to miss. This, anybody have doubt? I, I don't think you. This is the bearing of circulating vessels. These vessels. I think patient must have the same cupping like this. I think patient must have the same cupping like this before. Because glaucoma is progress, the cup is acidic back. Any doubt for this, this, this slide? This is a typical glaucoma, what you used to say, typical glaucoma.
I think thank you. Uh, anybody want to challenge my desk? All of you take your desk photo and see how it is. You'll be surprised. I think it's no more doubt. I think we thanks for uh, all of you attending and uh, we call it a day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Anam, you are there. Just now came, sir. Oh, yeah. Uh, OPD was very crowded, sir. EMR was not working. Like uh, everywhere same. Everywhere same. Uh, Namely. Like. Ah uh, yes, sir. Um, okay. They gave me permission to attend. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, sir.